Hi friends! Today we're going to do the Loki book tag. This tag was originally created by Eric at Break Even Books and I will link his original video in the description box down below if you would like to check that out, which I highly recommend you do. If you don't know, which you all already know, I'm obsessed with Loki. Okay, to be fair, I'm obsessed with Tom Hiddleston. He just happens to play Loki really, really well. I have a problem. I also have a flash, so if you hear really heavy breathing, that's the dog, not me, okay? Uh, yeah, so I have a weird obsession with Tom Hiddleston, his portrayal of Loki, a lot of his other portrayals as well. It's a thing. So when I seen this tag, I was like, yes, must do. So today I bring you the Loki book tag. Uh, the first question is Mischief, a book with a mischievous character. Um, for that I went with the Witchland series. This is the fourth book, Witch Shadow, but the character is Prince Polly. Definitely a <laughs> high mischievous, okay? An extremely mischievous character. I'm just saying, like, there's a whole thing, Polly 100% mischievous character. The next one, there are two options. Variant one is to share a book that you have more than one version of and variant two is to share a series that you have more than one edition of the same series. You know me, I'm doing both because that's how I live my life. Uh, so for a book that I own more than one copy of, I have Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. This was the original hardback edition and then this is the paperback edition that is the new release. Basically it's like she was wearing it, the jean jacket, and this is the close-up of the jean jacket. I love them both. I had to have, like this is like an amazing ass cover. When they announced that they were releasing this cover, which has the main character on it who is a self-described fat Latina character, and I knew they were putting her on the cover and they have an actual plus size Latina model as the, I had to have it because reasons. So that. As for series, I have multiple series that I have multiple editions of. I thought this was going to be the easiest one to show you, but I don't know that that's accurate. But we're going to go with uh, The Dark Artifices by Cassandra Clare. Why, why did I pick like the heaviest books that I own? Whose decision was this? Oh right, that's mine. It was mine. So I have the original hardcover editions of the trilogy um, that are chunky AF boys, let me tell you. And I also have, I'm gonna put these down because I'm not holding them all at the same time. It would be impossible. I also have the paperback editions that have the step back and the pretty spines. So hardcover paperback. Uh, next is Prune, a book that you recently got rid of or are planning on getting rid of. I don't have anything that I have recently gotten rid of, but one that I do plan to get rid of is Where Dreams Descend by Janela Angelis. This book I think came out last year, was not a fan, but I have this really beautiful Alcrate edition where there's no dust jacket. This is actually the embossed cover. It is gorgeous. And while I didn't like the book, I do really like the author. And so I'm going to do a giveaway for this closer to the release of the second book, um, just as like some kind of promo, because even though I don't love the book, I do like the author from what I have seen of her on social media and when she was part of the Social Distance Book Fest. So I want to support her but I will not be buying the second book because I didn't enjoy the first one. I'm not going to read it, but I have this gorgeous cover. So uh, I've been holding on to this to use it as promo for the second book's release. Uh, next is Enchantment, a book that had you under its spell, meaning a book that you couldn't put down. For me, I went through, I have a lot of books, y'all. So I went through and looked for like a series that I read super quick. And I came across the Trill Trilogy, um, Switched, Torn, and Ascend by Amanda Hawking. I read all three of these in three days. In 2017, I think, maybe 2016. It's been a minute. I'm pretty sure I read these in 2016. 
I could be wrong, but I think I read these pre-booktube. Um, but yeah, I read all three books in this trilogy in three days. So um, I love this series. I love Amanda Hawking. I've read 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like 14 or 15 of her books. I don't know. I've read a lot. Okay. I have a lot. I've read a lot. I love her. Okay. Timekeepers. Name a series that has stood the test of time. Bonus points if it's a trilogy. Well, have I got a trilogy for you? I don't know if it really stands the test of time because I read the first one in 2017. Um, so it's not like I read it a long time ago, but I think that these will definitely hold up. A lot of series that I've read recently that I've really enjoyed, I don't know if I would still enjoy it a decade from now. These I know I'll still enjoy a decade from now. And that is the Wanda trilogy by Tony DiTerlizzi. Um, the first book is Search for Wanla, and then A Hero for Wanla, and then Battle for Wanla. Um, these are, again, chunky babies. They are, uh, the chapter titles are illustrated. They are just a fantastic series, a uh, sci-fi series about the future, and I just love them. They follow this girl called Eva Nine. She lives in this habitat with a machine for a mother and some monster comes after and she has to escape and there's a whole thing. I love this series and like I said this is one that I know in a decade I will still absolutely love. Asgard, a book with royalty or godlike figures. I went with Medusa by Rosie Hewlett for obvious reasons. It's a Medusa retelling. It's fantastic. I haven't even reviewed this on my channel yet, but when your options are talk about Percy Jackson books for a long time or highlight Medusa, we highlight Medusa. And then we have Daggers, a book that cut you deep and made you emotional. And for that, I went with Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sanberry, which I have a full reading blog for on my channel if you wanna watch me cry for three quarters of the video. Um, this one hurt me in a lot of ways. There are a lot of books that make me cry, but this is definitely the most recent one that really fucked me up. That it's not uncommon for me to cry while reading, but to be like sobbing and feel emotionally drained, that doesn't happen quite as often, maybe a few times a year. And this is definitely the only one so far this year that has done that. So wanted to highlight this again. Also, Lizelle is a friend of mine and I love her and I love this book. And then the last question, did I say the last one was the last question? I'm not even sure. The last question is Illusion, a book you bought because you thought the cover was pretty, but it ended up being bad. And for that, I'm going with The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta. I actually don't have a copy of that anymore. Um, but when I was looking through books that I rated lowly, that I knew I had purchased because the cover was like, ooh, pretty. That was the one that like stuck out clearest in my mind. Um, but I don't have a copy of it anymore because I try not to keep books I don't enjoy. I mean, I have some, don't get me wrong, but I still have lore back there. Don't tell anybody. That is the end of the Loki book tag. Let me know in the comments below what your answers will be for any of these, or if you plan to film it, let me know if you already have. I can check it out. Like, you know, I love the Loki. So the more Loki, the happier Jessica is. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.